In these last days that we are living in, the believers in Christ must encourage one another. We must do our part in strengthening the church because Satan is attacking the church like never before. In Ephesians 6, 12, it says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. You know, the attacks may seem like they're coming from uh, human beings, but, you know, the source of the attacks is coming from the spiritual realm. It's coming from Satan and all of the other fallen angels with Satan. You know, and like what Paul said, um, that this spiritual demonic activity is in high places. So it's coming from the uh, second heaven. You know, that's where Satan has his, his uh, little kingdom, and uh, that's where the attack is coming from. Now, 1 Peter 5, 8 says, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walks about seeking whom he may devour. And that's how Satan is. He is like a roaring lion, just walking about, seeking whom he may devour, seeking whom he may attack. Now, the attacks on Christians can seem overwhelming at times. You know, when I be on YouTube and I check out um, the comments on my videos or I check out the, the personal messages. You know, most of the time it's positive comments, positive messages, but there's times where there's negative comments, you know, negative messages, and sometimes very disrespectful comments and stuff. And so, you know, the attack on the attacks on us believers, it, it could seem overwhelming, you know. I mean, it's sad that this is going on, but you know, we just got to think that this is prophetic, why, you know, we're being insulted and, 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 you know, many of our brothers and sisters are being persecuted, you know, and uh, all of the evil speaking against Christians, you know, and I think about what Jesus said in Matthew 5, verses 11 and 12, Jesus said, blessed are you when, when men shall revile you or insult you, persecute you, and say all manner of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be exceeding glad for great is your reward in heaven. We will be greatly rewarded because of all of the insults, you know, persecution, and all of the evil speaking against Christians. We will be greatly rewarded for that at the judgment seat of Christ. But until then, we got to meditate on God's word, you know. We have to do what Romans 12, 2 says. You know, Paul said, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. You know, we do that by meditating on God's word. A few scriptures to meditate on. Um, first one is Psalms chapter 16, verse 8, which says, I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all of your hearts. And lean not to your own understanding. In all of your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. So that's what we gotta do. We gotta meditate on God's word. We gotta we gotta like let God's word penetrate in our minds and in our hearts. You know, and that's that's what help us to overcome um, these attacks. I mean, I know we are overcomers by faith in Christ. You know, but while we're going through trials and tribulations with, you know, these attacks and stuff, um, you know, we have to meditate on his word, you know, and we have to encourage one another. Now, the devil has increased the attacks uh, within the church. You know, there's believers that are arguing and fighting uh, with other believers um, on certain topics of Christianity. You know, there's believers that are using the word of God to attack other um, believers, you know, other brothers and sisters in Christ, you know, and see, believers that do that, they are allowing um, the flesh to operate instead of the spirit, you know, and, you know, it talks about that in Galatians chapter 5, verses 19 through 21, you know, 
we got to walk in the spirit, you know, not in the flesh. Now, the, the unbelievers, they hate the message of the cross because it's offensive. It, it hurts their feelings, you know. And they're trying to destroy anything that has to do with Christianity, you know. And that's part of the work of Satan. Jesus told us that in John 10.10. 10. He said the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. You know, but see, Satan's time of evil in this world is coming to an end, you know. Is coming to an end, and that's why he's trying to drag as many souls as he can into the lake of fire with him. You know, see, he he knows Satan knows that his ultimate destination is the lake of fire. You know, but he wants as many souls as he as he can to to be there with him for all eternity. You know, so even though you know he knows where he's going, you know he's doing this because. He does not want anybody to live eternally with the Lord Jesus Christ, you know. He does not want anybody to see and to experience the new heaven and the new earth because he won't be able to experience it. So he don't want us to experience it, you know. So um, we got to keep fighting the good fight of faith, you know, and laying hold on eternal life. I mean, we got to hold on to it like never before, you know, because... Um, we are in a great battle, a great spiritual war, you know. Don't throw in the towel, you know. Don't don't um, depart from the faith. You know, we gotta we gotta hold on because we're almost there. Now to the pre tribbers um, those that believe that Jesus will come to rapture the bride before the great tribulation, keep on believing in the pre tribulation rapture, you know. Keep on believing. There's a lot of haters out there that want to try to, you know, just, just, well, they go around viciously attacking the pre-trade rapture doctrine. And, um, you know, we, we just got to keep on believing because I believe it's true. There's many believers uh, that also believe it's true. And so, you know, we got to keep on believing. You know, the pre-trade rapture uh, doctrine is under attack because we're living in the days of Noah, you know. Um, back in the days of Noah, you know, Noah and his family, when they were constructing the ark, they was being attacked every day, you know, verbally attacked. They was being ridiculed, picked on every day because they obeyed God and constructed the ark because God was getting ready to destroy the earth with water. And so the world, you know, didn't believe them and they were attacked every day. So, you know, when it comes to the preacher rapture doctrine, that's what... That's what it makes me think, you know, the days of Noah, because that's what Jesus said, as it was in the days of Noah. Now, Jesus said, those that endure till the end shall be saved, okay? We have to endure. We have to keep enduring, all right? Keep holding on. We have to fight back in this spiritual war. This is a great war that we're in. This is the greatest war ever, you know, far greater than any... Uh, physical war in this earth. This is the war between good and evil. You know, this this is a great war that we're in, and we're right at the finish line. That's why Satan is, you know, just putting up so much of a fight, because we're, we're right there. We're right at the finish line. You know, we just got to hold on a little, little while longer. You know, we got to keep holding on and keep encouraging and comforting one another instead of arguing and fighting one another. Keep on, keep holding on and keep encouraging one another because we are right at the finish line. Eternity is right there. Jesus is right at the door. Don't give up. If you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, please do so. Please watch my video, which is titled, Now is the Day of Salvation, to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You can watch that video in my playlist. Um, I have a Now is the Day of Salvation playlist, so you can check that video out and get saved, because right now is the day of salvation.